Hi, this is T. Payton at One Creative in Albuquerque, and I wanted to give you a quick tip for Final Cut 10 and editing to the beat. So I've got a little project here. It is a uh, uh, project of um, some people going down to Mexico, and I have already identified my favorites here. So I'm just going to pull up my favorites and I will get just the first few right here. So I'm going to hit E, bring those down in my timeline. Then let's get some music here. Uh, let's turn off my favorites and let's get this one. Let's go to our to the head and hit Q to bring in our music bed. Okay, so let's see what we have so far. Okay, great. We've got some music with a very distinct beat. Now, what would we do in a previous editing program, Final Cut 7, for example? Well, we'd probably open up um, the, look at the waveforms, bring some markers in, and start editing away. Um, we'd be making some um, edits, maybe drag some, some ripple and, and rolls, and uh, be able to pull that off to market to the beats. Well, you can still do that in Final Cut 10, but look at this. This is quite amazing. So one of the features that Final Cut 10 has is the ability to trim the tail and the head of a clip on the fly while the playhead, or rather why the timeline is playing. So this would enable you to edit as you're playing. It's kind of nuts. It's kind of editing in real time. So I want to show you how this works. And again, I'm using the option right bracket I'm just going to show you that in an option left bracket. So you'll, you'll see how it works here in a second. So let's just start playing. Notice I'm not selecting any clips either. I'm just playing. Okay, so we got to the end of that sequence, and here we edited 50 seconds of video in about 50 seconds. One thing to note, um, the timeline wasn't scrolling automatically. I was grabbing my scroll wheel um, as it was playing. Now, some of these edits aren't perfect, but we can go back and review them. If I wanted to make that edit earlier. Now those aren't all exactly on the beat, but this is pretty amazing. We did something in Final Cut 10 that would have taken, I don't know, three or four times as long in a normal editor. And uh, I think that's pretty fantastic and uh, something we can use on lots of projects. Thanks for watching.